Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here, and today I want to talk about a handful of movies that I would absolutely love to see sequels to. Now, these may be movies that have had other types of sequels in the past, but in my mind, they're really due or maybe even overdue for a follow-up, so let's talk about these. Hey, as always, if you're enjoying the content, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and please be sure to subscribe. The first movie I want to talk about has been out for a while, and I think a long gestating sequel is coming. It's in development, according to the director, Neil Blomkamp, but it's not quite there yet. And that is District 11. I said District 11, I meant District 10. So let's just go with that. <laughs> now District 9 is one of my favorite movies, one of my favorite science fiction movies, and just flat out movies period of the past, I guess, 15 years or so, however, however long it's been since that was released. Uh, and I think it had a great conclusion that really set up some really interesting possibilities for a sequel or maybe even a trilogy. Now I don't know if uh, the director does want to have sort of a three-part thing happen here, but I think there's great potential for a follow-up to this. I think it's actually kind of an unfinished story, and if you're familiar with that, it has to do uh, with aliens arriving in South Africa, I believe, and being sort of segregated and separated out, and there's a lot of sort of political undertones embedded in that, but it's just a really well-made piece of science fiction. It's really kind of dark and gritty and sort of hyper-violent, but there's a reason for that, and I think it all works really well, and I can't wait to see the sequel. I think it will happen. Maybe we're another year or two out. You can go online and look at some of the information that's available for it. Uh, it is coming, I think, but I really do want to see that hopefully in the not-too-distant future. Another movie that I'd love to see a sequel to that I think is kind of questionable as far as whether or, whether or not a follow-up is actually going to happen is Solo. Now, you know, when it was first released, the Solo movie did not receive a ton of fanfare. A lot of people, I think upon, again, its initial release, were kind of hesitant about it. The reviews were kind of middling. I think it ended up somewhere at like 70%, maybe 75% on Rotten Tomatoes. I can't remember exactly where it was. But to me, it was a really fun Star Wars movie. It, you know, did a lot of things right. I thought the casting... Uh, for Han Solo wore it really well even though I think just the idea of not having Harrison Ford play Solo turned a lot of people off right from the get-go but I think the movie is great I really liked it a lot I thought everyone else who had the various roles in the film did a great job with those and there's actually been sort of a, a hashtag make Solo to happen thing going on on Twitter and in other places I kind of think we could get a sequel to this again I think it's maybe questionable because it may not have turned as big of a box office profit as people would have liked or as Disney would have liked I should say um, but I think it may happen down the line and I really hope that it does because I think the cast of characters are great I think there's a lot of potential there and again if you get Ron Howard to come back and direct it again uh, there were a lot of production issues if you followed that at all when the first movie came out uh, the original directors were sort of pushed aside because they had creative differences with Disney but Again, I think Ron Howard ultimately did a great job with that, and I would love to see a follow-up, so fingers crossed that we do get that one day. The other movie that I would absolutely love to see a sequel to is Prometheus, and actually, really, Alien Covenant. So, you know, the Alien films had sort of their prequel series set up, and Prometheus, to me, is a highly underrated piece of science fiction. I think a lot of people didn't like it when it came out, because it wasn't a traditional Alien movie. It was a little bit headier, it was a little bit atypical, but I think in retrospect, a lot of people have come to appreciate what it did. Then you got Alien Covenant, which was kind of a response to that criticism from Ridley Scott uh, in terms of not having a traditional Alien movie. And so I think what you got was sort of this weird hybrid. And I like Alien Covenant, but I don't think it's a great movie. I think Prometheus is better. Uh, I think his vision was maybe a little bit compromised because of a lot of the blowback he received from fans and critics and that sort of thing. But um, I do think that that needs to be a trilogy that ultimately comes full circle and is closed. I don't know that it's going to happen, though. I mean, if you go online and look, it seems like mostly, you know, a Prometheus or an Alien Covenant follow-up film is dead at this point. I don't know that that's 100% the case. I know Ridley Scott's been pushing to get that third movie done. Again, I'm skeptical that it's going to happen, but I do think those characters, right, Michael Fassbender as uh, David the Android in those movies and all the other characters, it worked really well. I think it would be a really nice lead-in ultimately to the original Alien film, which is what, of course, I think the intent was there, and it just never quite came to fruition because of you know, the underperformance of Alien Covenant, but I would love to see that happen. And so again, fingers crossed that maybe one day we do get that inevitable follow-up. I hope. Please. Maybe. Possibly. So anyway, those are a handful of films that I think, you know, really do deserve sequels. And I've got a lot of other movies kind of bouncing around in my head that I think also deserve sequels. And so I'm thinking I'll make this a little bit of a series that I come back to now and again. But if you have some movies that were not on this list that you want to talk about down in the comments below, please be sure to do that. And as always, thanks for watching.